This video is going to demonstrate how to enter an assessment in eLumen. Begin by going to the College of the Desert webpage and click on Faculty and Staff. On the left hand side you will see eLumen. So eLumen is the program that we use to house our SLOs and to enter assessment data as well as our program reviews. You will log in with your COD credentials that you use for Canvas and your email. When working with any Lumen, you always want to start up in the left top corner where it has your name. You want to make sure that your role is appropriate for the task you're starting. In this case, if I'm assessing a course SLO, I'm a faculty member. Then check the department. You want to make sure that the course that you're assessing um, matches the discipline that you have listed here. And I'm going to assess a nursing course. So below that, you will see the course term. And this drop-down menu allows you to choose which term it is that you're assessing. In order to determine which SLO you're required to assess this semester, look at the blue banner that is under each of your courses and click on the little down arrow next to you have blank number outcomes planned for this section. So that'll tell you not only how many outcomes you have to assess this semester, but also which one. Now, don't forget which SLO you need to assess because when we create the assessment, you have to select a specific SLO and this is the one you want to select if you want credit for the assessment. So now I can click on add assessment. And notice, sorry, let me go back. Notice that I'm going to add the assessment under the course that I'm assessing. Now, perhaps you have multiple sections like I do of the same course. That's okay. We'll get to that in a little bit. Go ahead and add assessment. So we're going to name and then describe the assessment. We highly recommend that you include the term and the course number and a little bit of a name of what you're assessing so that it's easy to locate later. Oh, I guess I put us in the future there. Here we go. So this is Fall 19, Nursing 4, Cardiac Alterations Project. Okay, so the next line is an assessment type. Now this is whatever type of assignment you're using to assess. Perhaps it's an exam or a quiz. Maybe it's an essay um, in nursing and other CTE areas. I know we do a lot of skills or performances. In this case, this was a project, so I'm going to select that. We get to scroll down to the activity name. So this is the actual name of the assignment, and this should be what's in your syllabus, right? So in my syllabus, it's called a cardiac alterations project. And then I want to give a description of that project so that in case in three years, I want to review my assessment data, I want to remember what that project exactly was. So I'm going to describe what the students had to do. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to define assessment outcome type. So at this stage, you're going to determine what level of assessment you want. So I have a 5, 4, 3, 2 level assessment. Now the higher the assessment level, the more detailed you're going to see, the more detail you're going to see in your results. So you're asking me what do these levels represent. Let me show you before you select because once you choose, you can't change it. So I'm going to choose a five so I can demonstrate this to you. And I'm going to click Generate Rubric Template. Once you've decided which level, you can choose and then also click Generate Rubric Template. So here is a five level, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that a one and a two means that the student did not meet my expectations. They, they didn't pass this assignment. A three and a four, they passed and that's about it. A five, they exceeded my expectations. They did really well. 
You'll see that a five level assessment also correlates with a standard grading scale. So a five is an A, a four is a B, a three is a C, etc. If you choose a three level, let's say, you'll get one option for doesn't meet, one option for meet, uh, meets, and then an option for exceeds. If you choose a two level, you're gonna have it uh, meets expectations, does not meet expectations. So choose what's best for the assignment that you're assessing and then click on generate rubric template. So the next step here is to link our outcomes. And this is where we're going to connect the SLO with the assignment we're doing. And because I looked on our previous page, I know that this SLO is what I'm assessing. All your SLO should be listed on the left-hand side here in this column, and you just wanna select which one you're assessing. If you are assessing more than one SLO with this same assignment, you can click on Add Row and again, link the other outcome. You'll see that as you select them, they disappear. I'm just gonna do this one. Okay, so next, we want to click on Save and Add to the Library of Shared Assessments. This option is really important because it allows you to use this assessment in multiple sections of the same course. So you don't have to redo this process for every section. So we get taken back to our original page where all of the courses that we're currently teaching are listed, right? You'll see under the course that I added the assessment, here's my assessment, my Cardiac Alterations Project. And then we have two score card views. You'll notice that these numbers, this represents how many students I have in this section. So when you're ready to enter the data or once your students are done with the assignment, you're gonna click on the scorecard view. I recommend you click this first one, it's a lot easier to use. The scorecard view lists all of your students and the SLO that I chose to assess. At this time, you can click on the score that represents how the student did. So if Jeannie got an A, I'd say she exceeded the expectations. If Caitlin got a C, then she just met the expectation. If Victoria failed the assignment, I'll represent that. And let's say that Yael did not show up for that day. So then we're gonna say not applicable. You're gonna go through and you're gonna assess each of the students and then you're going to click on save and continue to reflection. This brings up one of the most important parts of assessment, the part that makes this meaningful. What did you think about the results? Was it as expected? Maybe more students scored lower than I anticipated. What changes will you make based on the results? Perhaps everyone exceeded my expectations and everybody got 100. Maybe that means I need to increase the rigor. What if students didn't do well because they were all missing components? Everybody turned in something, but not everything. Well, maybe next time I want to create a rubric to help guide them when completing the assignment. The next box is about any changes that I plan to do to the course. This doesn't necessarily have to do with the assessment. This can be about anything. Perhaps you want to try this course as a short-term class. Maybe you want to try a new activity that you learned from a conference that you just got back from. This is the location that you want to put that information in. Next, you will submit and share anonymously. Congratulations, you have completed your assessment in eLumen. If you go to courses, under that course, cardiac alterations, and you see this green check mark, that means that I scored everybody and everything's done. These other sections, they have not been assessed. Instead of going through the entire process, what I can do is click on find assessment, and I'm gonna find that project. 
that I want to assess this time around. And I'm going to click on it and you can add to all sections of this course. And then here are those assessments with my rosters ready to go. As always, if you need assistance with SLO revision or entering an assessment, feel free to email your SLO coordinators and request a meeting at slo at collegeofthedesert.edu.